Alright, y'all probably caught me by now. Well, I'm, well, I just started, but I'm wearing the same shirt as I was yesterday, or on the last video, because I'm recording this the day after yesterday, or, well, I'm recording this the day after I recorded the last video, and, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, just, I put on the shirt yesterday, I figured I'd wear it one more time today. Anyways, uh, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, I have not put, yet put on my headphones, but as you can see, using the power of my Xbox Quick my Xbox Series X Quick Resume, we're back here with Franklin, where we were doing some cool crowd tracking through the hills, and we can continue to do that. Let's do a quick jump. Or not. Oops. Uh... No bother. Anyways, uh, man, the hospitals in this game are really, really talented. They can really, they can really save you in a pinch. Anyways, but today, for our last episode, we uh, we pulled off a job for the feds, where we collected some uh, funds or whatever, some stuff out of the back of a truck for them. What? You worried about a wildfire? Then you should be worried about me coming around and burning your house down. Whoa. Let's see how tough you really are. Okay. Okay. Alright, anyways, let's go over... Basically... We're gonna go over today and meet Solomon Richards. Now, Michael previously did a job for, uh... For, uh, you know... For scumbag Steve. And, uh... Dave. And just the feds in general. Oh man, I really screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> and basically, we had to get something out of the back of an armored truck for them. It went pretty well. It actually went quite... Nah, not too bad. We didn't get paid, of course, but you know what? I'm used to not getting paid by now. Well, anyways, how far away is Solomon? I'll make some small talk on the way there. So basically, we then met, went and met up with Devin Weston to give him the, uh, to give him what we collected. I guess he, he was an investor or something, he needed that money. I think it was money that we got, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I think it was like some money out of the back of the truck. And then he offered, he said he needs some car repo work. Which we got the perfect guy for, if you know what I mean. Uh, with his idiot buddy. And he offered to hook Michael up with Solomon Richards. Who apparently, who we're going to see now, who I guess is a uh, famous movie producer who Michael's a fan of. Alright, Michael. Let's see. You gotta go meet your idol. Man, my car is taking a beating. I'm gonna pass, thank you. The police in this game are like nuts. Alright, anyways. Let's go and meet Mr. Richards. Solomon, I need your help, buddy. Get me out of this situation, man. Okay. Because the cops just go away once you get to your objective. Hello. Come in, come in. Aww. You must be Michael. Yeah. Oh wow. I used to have three secretaries. Got the time. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See the ships are coming in. Jeez. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto. I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Man, Michael's knows. Devin Michael knows his movies. Said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. 
but this place is a dream factory. Wow. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directives or actors. This picture is going to kill me. Right. Uh -huh. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's the Nelson and Nibson. Okay, so he's doing his last movie. Oh, well, he doesn't actually want to retire. Just Devin and apparently his idiot son want to make him retire. You know, when I watched Beastie uh, play this game, he thought that this whole old school, like, he thought that this guy was a bit of a, uh, I don't know. I kind of like this guy, though. <laughs> no happy endings. That's funny. Ooh, there's a uh, Empate Dukes. Are you Dodge Charger? I I can show y'all something cool live in my garage. I might do that in this episode. Unless I've already shown you. Not sure. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio okay. coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. All right. So these guys are having some issues. They don't want to cooperate. Okay, well, we're going to go teach them a lesson. So basically... They are they're having an issue with their pay and stuff, what it sounds like, and they don't want to cooperate. So, we need to go teach them some manners. Is that an option? <laughs> I actually like this guy. Alright, well. Oops. Man, I gotta tell you, this car is a lot more durable than it was in the first mission. Remember the first mission, mission guys, where, uh, well, the first, uh, mission that we did as Michael and Franklin together, where I we went and, uh, tried to save my boat with Jimmy. Yeah, we were trying to save my boat, not Jimmy, just my boat. Oh, there they are. Stupid actors and directors. Directors, directors. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. Oh, okay. Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. It's a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. <coughs> we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? All right. All right. Got the tramp stamp. Man, I got to tell you. You can never trust someone with the name Pelosi. Ask me how I know. That's right, because we have one in government right now.
Alright, so we gotta get to the helipad without alerting him. That worked. Nice little silent kick in the back. Must have been the wind. <laughs> oh no, my batteries are low. We'll see if we can. Oh, well, he did a hood slide across the vent. Or the. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we got up here. Okay. Man, I'm, I, if only this how it worked in real life, you could, like, see over your shoulder. Or see over like this, you know? Am I busting your balls? Uh, Alright. Can I not go through the same door that you just came out of? <laughs> Molly. Oh, I get it, Molly. You go missing? Well, there's other contractors in the city. city. How'd they not just see me? Whoa, you need to go. You shouldn't. Okay. Took them out. Where to go next? Okay, I see the place up here. So yeah, like I said, from what I understand, these guys are having an issue with their pay, and they're not and they're not cooperating. So we need to teach them a lesson. That's why I understand. I sometimes have a hard time understanding these the premises, these like missions and stuff, just like Call of Duty, all the other stuff. Hey, hey you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, wrinkles? Wrinkles. Oh, you're gonna pay. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> oh boy, let's go. Oh. Can't I just kill him? He asked if it was an option. Not, if we're having a sale on that option. Yeah. Fine. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. You're embarrassed for me? Ladders will be climbed fast. Oh, I get the string star. Buddy, you cannot fight the Michael DeSanta. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Alright, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. All right, let's get back to the lot. All right, ha <laughs> ha. Did wait? Did he get into the We're helicopter? Not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. By flying a radical. All right. Then let's talk, artist to artist. I'm an artist. Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong drugs? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Jesus, you're lucky we're not dead. All right, we're gonna fly very. Uh, 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 those that helicopter is very weak. I think their minds were changed, weren't they? Uh, come on. We did we just we changed their minds, didn't they? Okay, whatever. <coughs> All right, y'all are gonna change your minds about this decision that you made to not help us out. Just saying. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't 
can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. If you give me a rock, I'll do anything to you want. A rock? Like, what kind of... What was that supposed to mean? Can we just talk this through? Buddy, we... You try to. Yes, I did, buddy. I'll blow you. I'm gonna pass, buddy. Hey, and not call my movie crappy. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? Dang, he's really calling him out. Michael's a bit of a nut. Where am I putting this thing down? When Dylan Weston came to do a studio... Oh, God. I gotta slow down. Alright. Then we'll do the same. Why are you giving us that information, buddy? Put it there. The water tank to our parking lot. Setting it down. We're just gonna let that thing go. It's a little bit smoky. Oh, you better watch yourself. I'll, I'll beat you up again. You're feeling a little keyed up? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot? Oh, really? What have I done? Ow. Oh my god, you just hit him! Fine, just kill me real quick. Okay, that'll work. Why do I do these things, dude? I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm recording for 18 minutes already, you know, and I just did this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, dude. I hate myself. I'm retarded. I'll be right back. I should be saying that words. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Alright guys, now let's do this and not actually hit any women. Or in this case, now men. We'll pull this out just in case. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot. Oh boy. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah. Uh. Hey, I just just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I I appreciate 
all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. I'm touching my microphone. Ha <laughs> ha! Michael, you're making a big dude. Your family might come back now. I doubt it. Okay, now we, uh, we're gonna go meet up with, the. Uh... Oh, we got some new, uh... Well, me, if you ever want to play any of these Strangers and Freaks stuff, let me know. Because Tra Franklin got some as well. Anyways, before we do this, let me show y'all why I have a Michael's Garage. They're gonna go to Devin's place now. Michael's like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we can celebrate by punching that guy. Well, let's not actually do that. Hey, now we can actually come in here, hopefully, as Michael without getting in trouble. Okay. G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, all the hands wanna go in range. Give me your G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. You're not gonna take your G wagon back. Oh, you're not gonna hurt me, buddy. I'll hurt you so bad. I'll kill ya. I'm a psychopath. I don't care. Anyways, I'm gonna show why I have in here. Michael, I haven't heard from you. Phone session? Look, buddy. I'll call you if I feel like it. Alright. And yes, I'm sure. I'm keeping in total fine mental health. Certainly much better mental health than I am when I'm with your butthole. In case you guys don't remember, he is a complete scam. My freaking strength. I don't know how therapy really works in like in those cases. It's like, shoot, man, freaking, you go through. You, I don't know. I don't know. It's like some therapies I can understand. Like there's some I think that would actually work, but then in this case, I don't know. Michael's kind of therapy doesn't make much sense. Anyways, check this out, folks. They're gone. Anyone home? They're gone. No, I had, I had a General E built in here, like a one of those chargers. Well, that sucks. Yeah, whatever. I have one in GTA Online that I'm currently building because I need to keep leveling up and stuff. Anyways, let's go to Devin's place. But yeah, there's some therapies I can understand, but some of it doesn't make sense to me. I guess this is kind of a, uh, it's kind of a, a very vague, what, uh, what the GTA is kind of depicting a very vague depiction of therapy, so maybe it's, you know, shouldn't really take the info from this, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, sorry I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm thinking about it. I'm just, I'm just thinking. That really made things loud. Hmm. Anyways, let's see here. Let's get going. Devin Weston, who I don't like. I don't like Devin Weston. Move. Alright, let's see who we got here. Ooh, yeah, there's some nice cars. Ooh, is that a Bugatti? Or a kind of a Bugatti? A bit of a Bugatti? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I got it. Franklin. What's going Enter. on? You're going to dress up as traffic cops, and you're going to rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work. You'll all be well paid. Oh, you're sure. Late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you 
finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist, brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. <laughs> I do not like Devin Weston. But I will say, this is a decent little car. It's got a pretty... It's got a pretty crazy exhaust note, man. Okay, so we're gonna dress up as cops. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> Trevor, your childhood dream, that's fine. So we're gonna dress up as police officers, and we're gonna repo... And we're gonna confiscate these cars that these guys have, so that they can sell them in Asia. Okay. How can young men like that, or young guys like that, afford these kind of cars? I don't know. Anyways, let's keep going, boys. being very quiet, I know, but see, look, I love riding on the side of the road like this and just miss everyone. Oh. What if we were to hang up? Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man, look, I'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. All right. Oh, man, I just totally screwed this dang car up. They're going to be like a bruh. We're gonna race you and, you're, and you can dri you drive like that? I don't think so, bro. Because I know we're gonna. Well, so we gotta race these guys then. Ha! Ah. Speed limit 35? Uh, yeah, screw that. I wish there was like a speedometer option on this. I like to put in the corner of your screen, like on a Forza, like on a Forza game. Oh, those are nice. How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Might want to fill up first, Franklin. All right, this car is not going to keep up with those. Those are like V12, V16, or W16, you know, race cars. This is like a Jaguar, I think. Which is a nice car, but nonetheless, it's not going to... Oh, maybe it will. Buddy, if my car can keep up with your guys' cars, I swear. Oh, wow. Well, I really... Oh, wow, that's cool. Look at the red lines from the lights. Oh, well, we just lost them, didn't we? How can they... Yeah, these guys probably have, like, daddy's money on their side. There's no way they can afford these cars. Got a draft. I don't know if drafting works in this game, but it works in online races. Oh, hey, that guy's splitting up. Oh, boy, I'm keeping up pretty well with this little Jaguar. I gotta make sure I watch her sudden. Ah, oh, god dang it. I was so close. I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm about to lose him. I'm finna about to lose him. Okay. Get out of the way, cars. There's no need for cars to be on this road. This is a racetrack. Can I just like pop them both in the back of the head? 
Oh boy, we just got him. What if he if he falls too far behind? Then will we, you know, get? Then will it, you know, and will the mission be failed? Because I'm actually about to beat these guys. Are you kidding me? Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. <laughs> they got the donuts. That's I'll great. About that later. Oh. Oh, that's why I'm on motorcycles. It's cool. Ain't gonna stop with us back here. You gotta get right up behind them. Dude, those things are like super big engine cars. We're not gonna be able to catch them. Oh, you know, I gotta get my, uh... Gotta get my other battery. Hopefully this doesn't, like, screw anything up. Check it out, folks. We got quick battery swap. Got a boom. Boom. And a, uh... Boom. A quick little battery swap. Alright. Here we go. Let's catch up. Whoa. Why are you on the other side of the road, buddy? Oh, one of them's on the one of them is on the other side of the road. That's dangerous, dude. That's real dangerous. A while back, we saw someone on the wrong side of the road. My family and my family did. It was nuts. I think we might have called the police or the. I don't think they can hear the sirens. We got to get close. How you doing, team? We gotta hang in there. He just said he's just been talking. All right, let's do it. Maybe they'll hear some gunshots. Ah. How come? Sometimes when I like do this, yeah, like to get my gun out to shoot, it like puts me in the first person, and that just really screws me up. Especially on a motorcycle, dude. I gotta be careful. I'm surprised that police use motorcycles. All right. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, this would be very dangerous. I don't know. What's that mean? Take the booking? Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Alright. <laughs> he doesn't like the bikers. That's funny, dude. He hates bikers so bad. I like motorcycles, dude. They're cool. We're bikers right now, Trevor. Hey, Trevor, you make a good police officer, dude. So did Michael, I guess. We're, like, really, really good at riding motorcycles. Why are they pull? Why don't they just keep on going? They're so stupid. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you know how fast you're going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Oh yeah, sure. You and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there. So uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on, officer. Officer, officer. Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Dang. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Ah, ah. Car, you pint-sized prick. Whoa. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Trevor was more calm and collected than Michael. Was Trevor just groping that guy? Oh, no. Trevor was, like, more calm and collected than Michael. Oh, yeah, we have these sweet cars. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the car. Speak. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. 
And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow. Wow. The whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Little Bighorn. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey. Gee, she's a bit of a jerk. Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. Man, I'm woman. Get Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Buddy, I'm like way ahead of you. All right, well that was pretty simple. Why would they just stop? I don't get it. I I would think that if you already devoted yourself to a race, to, to a chase like that, a chase is a race, and you gotta you know just like a uh, uh, JJ the boss says, a chase is a race, and you hey, know bro, what? You gotta what I tell you, bro, you gotta keep on chasing. These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. Oh yeah. But these are much nicer cars. But these are much nicer cars, Franklin. Come on, be grateful. You get to ride in such nice cars. Shit, I screwed up. No, but that car. There's no damage on the car. How is that? How is that? How? How is there no damage on that from that? Well, looks like you guys are fighting it out for second and third. The These guys. Horse always burns out before the end. Really? Hey, look, Devin Weston. He ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth. Ah. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So he like to you what you were to me. Ah. See your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something oh, like there's that. the damage. I just caused like tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage to this car. Yep. Franklin's probably not gonna get paid now because of me. But at least I'm winning the race. Yeah, that's gonna be like a couple, a couple thousand, a couple, a couple ten thousand dollars worth of damage. Oh, jeez, what happened where? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green, or is there some other thing with this guy and you? Oh hi, he switched to the he switched to the shouting. Help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's not the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? Professional woman who's doing a job, and leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Okay, fine, Trevor. God, man, you fall in love with every girl you meet. Why didn't he say like the 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 white spots on this car? Because he did something really funny, and I guess he's not gonna say it. Oh well, thank you. Aw, oh, man, I burned out a light bulb and stuff. Dang. Dang Franklin really got those cars. Looking Gentlemen, good. I love you all. Oh God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who oh, the yeah. fuck would have thought? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh my God, just he's in kiss, the... homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got <laughs> the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. Sorry, going back here. Any ground that. surveillance we run, all we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house. Not quite. <laughs> we have access to an LSPD helicopter. <laughs> the computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right. So who does what? 
You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. But you're the one who me on them. Screw you. Well, I guess Michael's all changed. Let's go. All right! I fought the law. Let's see if calling. Well, listen. I want to do a short little mission now. So we have another assassination job we can do. Heck, why not? Let's do ourselves an assassination job. And then next... Well, I don't know. Maybe after I complete the series, I'll uh, go back and do a lot of the Strangers and Freaks missions. I don't know, Franklin. How much money do you have right now? 100 grand? Hey, not bad. I do want my own car for this mission. Can I call my mechanic? Like in GTA uh, Online? Nope, guess not. Oh yeah, you can hang. What would happen if you called the hangout option? I don't know, we'll see. We, we have to see. How far away is my house? Okay, it's very far away. Oh, my a car impound. Okay. I need your car, sir. Or ma'am. Anyways. Let's go over to Lester and get ourselves a nice little job here. Nice little assassination job. I'm making more money working for and doing. I'm getting more stuff working for Lester, honestly, than I am for. Uh... Oh, wait. He said he was going to throw in a sweetener last time. What is that? I never, I never got that. Maybe a new a new motorcycle or something? Or like a crotch rocket? Or something like that? A new car? Well, actually, I don't know. I like Franklin's car. It's like a Hellcat. Or it's like a. It's like an old Dodge Charger, like an older one, like a 2000, like a 2009 to 2000, you know, something, something, something. I love that they're choosing the payphones, it's funny. And that very conveniently he's getting a payphone call right now. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. <laughs> and the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. Oh. Stake her out and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> all right, homie. I'll be in touch. <laughs> yep, it's all uh, hiding some uh, watch the prostitute. I never thought in a, in a I never really imagined that in a game I would I'd be playing a game where you where you have, where I have to watch a prostitute. But you know what? That's GTA for you. But yeah, Lester, like all of his stuff is is like good deeds. You know, good deeds are all. Hiding some sort of greedy, you know, thing. So he like sold out a bunch of information from his uh, from someone to someone. Not exactly sure what happened. What's wrong there? The fruit app, right? The fruit. Not it's not i fruit, is it? Or do you mean i fruit? I don't know. Anyways. Oh man, I just nicked the car. Anyways, let's go over down here and check out, and let's go watch the prostitute. <laughs> Me get myself. Ooh, there's a prostitute we can watch. Hi there. Fine, must die. I don't take kindly of prostitutes in this game. Is that prostitute? Uh, there's another one right here. I try to, I try to him with. That must be my girl. I try to my girl. You want party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. I tried to hit him with my car because I just like in GTA Online, like I might like pick him up and then like drive like the car into like a river or something. But in this game, I believe that it's not epic. So I just kind of you know, 
hit him with my car. Like this one, I should. Still. Ah! How was my cover? Okay, I guess I kind of blocked the traffic. That's fine. I'm, just, I'm, I'm parking. I'm parking, dang it. Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Nice day, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Let's turn off this, uh... Oh, yeah, I gotta stay farther away. Hi there, beautiful. Oh, God. Okay, so she'll enter his car. Said the exact same thing. Oh, how rude! I should blow you up. Well, oh, I just put the finger a little here and there. Have some of my finger. Have a taste of my finger. Oh my God! What's wrong? With <laughs> I'm just getting there by the finger. Like, uh, just, I'm not actually putting up the finger right now. Hey, baby, what can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Dang, sassy. I think this is him. Come. Get away from me, you Got him. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. There he is. I wish I would have gotten the prostitute as well. Nice. We totally. I gotta get some more sticky bombs though after this. Right, let's leave the area. I completely messed him up. Ha <laughs> ha! How do I get out of the area? Come on. Yeah, he's looking nice and toasty. Tostinos, I say. Who wants some Totinos hot pizza rolls? Alright. Yeah, man, I think he's gonna be nice and crispy when he comes out of the oven. Ah, god dang it. No, I should not get out of the car. Let me, uh... Let me lose the cops and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. This phone's a Badger phone? Hey, man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Alright. We did it. Nice. Uh, the vice assassination. Nice. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. Let's do a quick save. But Franklin's sitting in front of this beautiful car. Let's check it out. All righty, then. He's going to stay in front of this beautiful uh, car that I might have to hijack after this episode ends. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for... I'm going to take off my headphones. Yeah, oh. Screen flash away. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Peace out.